I lived in the former Yugoslavia, uh, specifically in Bosnia and Sarajevo, and uh, we came to Canada during the uh, Yugoslav Wars in the early 1990s. So uh, it was 1994, August. Uh, my mom and my dad, my sister and myself. There was a, quite a few bombings while we were still there, so most of the nights were at that point spent in the basements. I didn't know that much about Canada prior to coming. You know, I was 13 years old and um, it just seemed like a far away place where, with endless possibilities. <laughs> so I went back to academia for my PhD in 2008 and I finished it uh, in June of 2014. I don't know what the ideal job is for me. Um, I mean, if I had it my way, I'd teach at a university. Um, I would love to be an academic, but that's probably not going to happen. I know so many people who have finished. Uh, I know most of them from English, but not one of them has landed a full-time tenure track position. It's pretty devastating. You're sort of trying to do something that you love, that you've spent, I don't know, 11 years of post-secondary education for. A lot of money, a lot of tuition, a lot of lot of work you know and these people who are finishing their PhDs they're not you know and they're 25 they're 35 30 30 to 35 so at their point in their lives when they're thinking about maybe having you know, starting families or whatever and they the fact that they have jobs don't have job security really impacts them I think in a big way but I mean we sort of came of age right at the time when the recession hit and um, we were taught to expect more <laughs> than what was out there you know, when the time comes, when the market perhaps opens up more for us, I think we'll be hungry for it and that will be a good thing.